observe this. Do you see any triangular numbers here? In this special triangle. Okay. So, Where exactly? Uh, the, the, the third row, uh, the last hexagon in the third row, one, and then the okay. third hexagon in the fourth row, three, and then the third hexagon in the fifth row, uh, six, and then 10, 15, 21. Like. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Look at the numbers in the slanted line. That's all triangular numbers. Is there any other place we see the same sequence? Yeah, we can see it like in the third row, first row hexagon. Exactly. And yeah. 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 Exactly. Your the mirror perfect. image of the uh, previous uh, rows. Yes. Is there anything, any other triangular number here apart from this? Something else is some, is something else triangular here. We found one sequence in this direction, one sequence in this direction. But is there anything more? Any other triangular number? It's I not think when, I think when we go like uh, the second row for the second triangle, and then uh, the, the yes, and in the mm -hmm. third row, the second hexagon, okay, like this this we go like that's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. And okay. this line we found natural numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the one parallel to that, we found the triangular numbers, yes, right? And, and the same thing in the, in the other direction, right? These were the two triangular number series. So, my question is apart from these two lines, do you see anything triangular in this? The name of the this picture you're seeing is a Pascal triangle. So, what could be something triangular here? Look, think of the definition. What is a triangular number? So, just apply that and see, okay. Do you see anything triangular here? Is there in the third row, there's two plus one equals three? Mm -hmm. this one plus two plus one, we get four. Okay. okay. Think of the definition of triangular numbers. What was the triangular number definition? We tried to create circles. Now, instead of circles, can I put some other object, some other shape? Does it matter? Mm -hmm. The number of hexagons in this Pascal triangle. What? How many hexagons can you see in this picture? Anyone? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Right. Okay. So, what is? So, if you observe, if you just take the first row, it's one. If you take this row, it is first and second row, it's three. First row, second row, third row, it is six. First row, second row, third row, fourth row, it's ten. So what are we getting? One, three, six, ten. So we get when you consider consecutive three row, we get numbers. Yeah, sum of consecutive numbers, which has nothing but a triangular number, right? Triangular number. Right. So actually, the number of hexagons in a Pascal triangle is itself a triangular number, right? So now anything that looks triangular in shape, so now we know there is a triangular number somewhere hidden beneath, right? So it could be a circle. When we learned about triangle numbers and here it's hexagons right so the number of hexagons in a pascal triangle here in this case right is always a triangle number you add the next row right when you add the next row you will be adding nine hexagons so you'll get 36 plus 9 which is 45 which is the next triangular number well, that's interesting right 